Good morning, Code Simplifier tribes. Bess from Code Simplifier Coding School is here with another C hash video for beginners. Today we are going to talk about how to check if a name contains letters only and how to validate client's input. Before we start, let's recap what we have done in our last step. In our last step, we created an iteration statement. This is our iteration statement to check if the client is going to leave the name section of the form blank or not. So this is the condition we set up. And if this condition is true, we created this error message to be shown to the client and let them know the name section cannot be blank and they need to enter an entry as their name. And in today's video, as I mentioned, we are going to go to the next step and check if the name the clients have entered are only letters or not. Let's find out how we are going to do that. We are going to use an else if statement. What is an else if statement? Let's explain it with an analogy. Imagine you are going to buy a pair of jeans. You try on a dark blue jeans and you don't like the color. Then you go and pick up another pair with lighter color. When you try them on, you like them and potentially are going to buy them. And if we are going to put that example into our code, it would be you ran an if statement on the dark blue jeans and you didn't like them. Then you moved on to the next color and tried them out. The second attempt was the else if statement. However, the condition of the else if statement shouldn't be limited to one. And you can have as many as else if statement you want in your code like your options to trying on jeans. Let's find out what does look like in our code. Between the parentheses, we are going to write down our condition. So you're just going to reg x dot is match. And you have this underlying red error. So do not worry about it for now. Just keep going with me and then we'll go to fix it in a second. So after the is match, we have another two parentheses. Here we are going to check our customer name box is where the customer is going to enter their name. So I'll leave it that is converted to text. Then we have a comma. Here is our test example and we are going to test it against this code. So you write down at. So double code. Then you have to have shift and number six on your keyboard, which is have that upside down V. So having that one, then square brackets, lower A, hyphen Z, capital A, hyphen capital Z. And then we have the plus dollar sign. So this is going to check the letters contents in a customer name box or not. And here is going to check if the name entered by the customer, it matches this. But we want to check if the customer name does not match by this. That's why hence we are going to before the reg X and we have the exclamation mark, which that will turn the condition to not equal. And for importing the regs, control and dot or period. And this is what we are going to check using system dot text regular expression into that one. And that will enter importing the library that we are going to use. What will happen if the name does not match? We, this is the condition we are going to check and as I explained we are going to check if the name entered by the customer contains letters only or not and every step from onward inside our condition to be executed it's exactly the same as when we checked it in our last step the only change we had here is the, the name must be letters only 
then we are showing the error message as a pop-up screen message to the client or the customer. Here the focus goes back to the customer name box and here is where the select all comes to play and that will select every input that client entered as their name box and will select it and let it cut client to modify it. Now everything looks fine. Save your work and we are going to run and test what is the outcome look like. We run our app. The first one is pressing the calculate. The name cannot be blank. The second attempt is going to be add my name and with some digit in it. Click calculate again. And as you see, the second error message pops up as the name must be letters only. And when you close this window, that's where the select all comes to the play and select all the input to be modified. So that will make your job easier. So with that being said, we came to the end part of the second part of the validating the user input. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if this video was helpful to you, please ensure you are subscribing to my channel, like this video and comment your thoughts in a comment section below. By subscribing to our channel, you are giving us confidence to create more educational videos like what you see right now and share with others for absolutely free. In the end, as per usual, if you have any question or you're stuck along the way, please write down your questions in the comment section below. Send them as soon as I can and I will help you to overcome the challenge ahead of you. With that being said, that's all for today and I will hope you are having a great time and I will see you all next time.